Oh, hello. Welcome to this segment on physical and chemical changes. Now, what exactly are physical and chemical changes? Well, let's take a look. Alright, so what is a physical change? Well, here is an easy example. Ripping a piece of paper is known as a physical change. This is because you may rip it, but the paper itself is still paper. Would you consider this paper? I think so. Now, if you wanted to do a chemical change, that would be a little bit different. And here's why. Because a chemical change is when you take one substance and you turn it into a new and different substance. This is different than a physical change, because in a physical change, all you're changing is the appearance. As was shown in the example with the paper. It appears smaller, but it's still paper. Now for the demo on chemical change, you're going to have to wear goggles for safety. This is because that ripped paper will be now lit on fire. Alright, so now we have our goggles our matches, and our paper. So, here we go to begin our demonstration of a chemical change. As you can see, the paper is being burnt to ashes, thus turning from paper to ashes. This next example of a physical change will be when ice cubes undergo the phase change from ice to water. It is physical because it is still water nevertheless, whether it is in the solid form, the liquid form, or the gas form. So this will show how a physical change is when you go from a solid to a liquid. So do we all see what happened there? The ice underwent a phase change from solid to a liquid. And now it is a physical change because it is still H2O, no matter what phase it's in, solid, liquid, or gas. In this next example of a chemical change, we will be igniting fumes inside of this bottle to create combustion. Let's get started. So first we need to add some rubbing alcohol into the bottle. Not a lot, that might be even too much. And next you want to cover the big Sprite bottle completely. And then you want to shake it up, get the fumes everywhere. And when you think that it's good, then you want to quickly open it up, dump out all the ethanol, and then quickly dry off the top. And completely dry off the top. And then cover it back up to lock the fumes inside. So now what we want to do, we have the bottle right here. Quickly, you want to, we're going to strike our match. light our candle on a stick and then quickly undo the undo the bottle and light it and that is a chemical change
Now that demonstration was just a chemical change because the ethanol that was in the bottle, it was actually rubbing alcohol. But nonetheless, it was changed and burned from that and it was produced into vapor and it gave off some water which is still in the bottle. It also melted the bottle because of its tremendous heat. You now know what physical and chemical changes are. You've seen examples of both. I hope this was very informative, and I hope you enjoyed this segment of chemistry. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.